My name is Rachel Muleman, and I'm here with someone very special, Denise from We Love Art. And who doesn't love art? <laughs> thank you for having me here, Rachel. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for joining the Change Officer today. Um, the reason you're here is because you came to Step to check out what's going on in the startup scene. And yep. you have been a startup, and I'd love to uncover and tell our viewers kind of a little bit of your history. Yeah, of course. Right. How, when did you start initially? So I started in 2013 when I moved to Dubai. And the reason why I started Wheel of Art is that I wanted to seek creative experiences for myself. And, and when I talk about creative experiences, it's the wellness package as a bigger thing. So it's not only uh, when we create art, we feel good about it. And when I came to Dubai, I couldn't really find a community or the creative experience what I was looking for or the mental wellness what I was looking for. So this is why I started Wheel of Art, to kind of spread happiness by enabling anyone to create art either online or at our events. Amazing. And you yeah. do it in the simplest way. So you take, and I want to tell, you know, get into what exactly, you have a philosophy of how, that you follow where you take yeah. these really famous pieces that people recognize, right? And you show them how capable they can be at achieving that same look and feel of an art piece, right? Exactly. So what we, what we do is that we give customers who come in either in our events or the online version, we give them a pre-sketch compass. So these are all hand sketched by me. And this is always like, a famous piece, so it could be the Picasso, Van Gogh, Monet, etc. So we give them a, uh, the pre-sketch, and this pre-sketch is quite important because if I'm going to give you an empty canvas, you might feel a bit daunted, you know, you don't know really what to do. So the pre-sketch is there to kind of give you enough confidence to get that brush moving and enough freedom to, to, to add in your own personal touch. And then of course we have a booklet to guide you, we have teachers to help you, and of course that maybe uh, the drink will help you as well to get those <laughs> creative juices flowing. Relax a little bit, <laughs> you know. You could relax into it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And so, tell me about your business model. Right now, you have the events, yeah. and and I'm sure during COVID, it's kind of shifted, maybe yeah. even pivoted a little bit. So, where where are you now? Who are the customers you're servicing? Yeah. So we started with the events indeed. So we have the, the eight week course where people work towards the, the, their own uh, exhibition. We have the one-off paint and grape events in, in locations also such as Louvre, Abu Dhabi, um, big four seasons, St. Regis, etc. And then we have the corporate and the corporate events and the private events. So these are all the, the in-person events. And then COVID hit, no events were possible. Right. So what we're gonna do, what we did, is we, we um, pivoted to the Wheel of Art online experience. And this is the a Wheel of Art box. It's like a beautiful, yeah, it's a beautiful box. Uh, a real nice gift for, for yourself or someone else. And it has everything what you need to create your own masterpiece at home. So you, you put on the nice relaxing music. It has a tutorial with me uh, on the screen <laughs> explaining you what to do. Mm -hmm taking you step by step through all the process. Uh, it has a really nice booklet, three brushes, nice brushes, and enough paint to uh, to probably fill two to three canvases, but that doesn't matter. Like enough paint, if you really want to go textured, you, you could do that as well. So this is how we pivoted um, from, from the, the in-person events to the online experience. So you get this box delivered anywhere in the world to your doorstep. So we've, we have over 20 countries now where we ship to. And, uh, and yeah, people really enjoy themselves having a relaxing time. And it helps, you know, like during COVID, I got messages from people and uh, th th there were the most beautiful messages, how it helped them, how, how art was therapeutic for them. Um, it's like the meditation in a box, how they describe it. So yeah, it, it, it was really beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. So 20 countries. Yeah. You shipped crazy. to 20 countries. <laughs> yeah. They say mashallah here. Congratulations. <laughs> that's Thank amazing. You. That's really exciting. And mm. that's that's a huge progress. So did you see that expansion happen during COVID? Is that how that worked? Uh, it, 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 it was booming. We, now the lucky thing is, is that um, already before COVID, because we of course didn't know COVID was going to hit, right? Mm. So before COVID, we were already uh, creating a wheel of our box. Um, because we had many people from different countries saying like, oh, I, I see on your Instagram, I see all these amazing events. We're in Canada and we cannot join. What can we do? So they gave us the idea to then start with this online experience. So when COVID hit, we were ready. So we had this box ready. We had everything ready. And, and yeah, then we shipped to 20 countries and, and, and many more. So um, 
you know, we're, we're lucky. We're, we're lucky in that sense, of course. Right, <laughs> yeah. but it's spectacular. So now you're here at STEP conference, yeah. first time? First time. And what do you think? Oh, it's amazing. Like the, 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 the people, the energy, uh, talking to all these uh, great businesses and investors, which is, of course, also important for us. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's inspiring, honestly. Yeah. Amazing. And so what was your goal here for the event? The goal is to, to pitch uh, We Love Art. So we made it actually to the, to the pitch stage. So from the 250 companies, we made it to the 35, which, which I was happy with. Amazing, uh, well done. Uh, I, I was happy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. We, we see each other. So uh, we see ourselves as a, um, also as a tech startup. So of course we started with the, the, the in-person events, but now we offer product and software. And we really want to take that to the next step because that is where the scalability is, of course. The, it's, it's, it's this, uh, this box. And um, what we see as well a lot, so th this box we, um, we, offer, we offer in hotels. So we, we are looking for like captive audiences, for example. So let's say you're in a hotel, right? And you don't really know what to do. I mean, you, you, have, you have the beach, you have the bar, but maybe at some point you, know, you want something else. So we have quite many hotels now that we've worked together with and they offer it to, uh, to, to adults and to children, because we also have Kids Love Art now. So you have also a Kids Love Art box to, to, give their, to give a boost to their experience. We also do uh, for the boxes, um, customized boxes where uh, to, to the bigger, we, have, we had recently for Atmov, Abu Dhabi Music and Art Foundation, they, they ordered lots of boxes for, for children to give away. So we do lots of new things in that respect. And what we're looking for today is um, yeah, meet, meeting all these interesting people, getting good feedback. And I, I can't probably reveal too much yet, unfortunately, but there is something really cool happening uh, in, in the digital um, yeah, in the digital space, let's say. But I, I can't reveal too much about that. That's okay. Yeah. We got a teaser to find yeah. you and watch you and find out more yeah, what's yeah, coming yeah, yeah, because yeah. you've been around for a while, yeah. you know, and it's so nice to see you still here. And, and in this space where you're looking to actually pitch your business, is this the first time you're pitching for funding? Yeah, it's the first time. Yeah, so far everything was organically. Uh, yeah, touch wood, everything. Uh, you know, the people in Dubai and just the UAE in general, because we, we've also expanded to, to, um, to Abu Dhabi there in the Louvre, many locals. And there's just so much energy from them and they, they love what we're doing. And um, uh, yeah, so, so far it was all word of mouth. Um, and now we are looking for, uh, now we, we have the digital marketing and now of course we also want to have, a, yeah, we want to expand the business uh, more and for the first time that we're looking for funding, yeah. Amazing, amazing. Now I can imagine as an entrepreneur, you are doing everything in your business, yeah, right? Yes. Yeah. And so what are some of your biggest challenges? Like where do you struggle with as far as prioritizing what to do first? Do I look for funding? Do I do operations? Do I sell another box? Do I do it? You know, yeah, am I shipping them? Where, where do you struggle? Yeah, the struggle points, yeah, it's, 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 my brother sometimes says like hocus pocus focus, like a real, <laughs> real easy thing, but it always sticks in my head because you have so many different things. Like we do in person, we do online, we, we have this interesting thing coming up. Um, it's like what you said, like, well, where are you going to focus? And we have a small team, like we are only, uh, we are about eight here in house and then we have different contractors but still like we're still a small team so what do you do how do you prioritize i mean this is still a constant struggle of me today but this hocus pocus focus uh, is always helping me a little bit um so i do i do mainly the the the, the, the I do the events, like I'm, I'm more the, the forefront of, of, of We Love Art, but then I have an amazing partner who is doing all the expansion and the growth and he can focus on that. So that's, a, I think we have really good teamwork on, the, on this, um, yeah, yeah. Incredible, so you've been able to diversify yes. and obviously having a, people that you can depend on is really 100%. part of that mission, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 and we just, we grow where the markets want, want us to go to. So every time we hear new feedback from clients and we're like, so this is how we started, right? With the, the eight week scores, then they're like, okay, we want one off. And then there were the corporate events, then it was the box. So every time, and now of course you have interesting digital things happening. So every time it's like where the market wants us, well, we flow. 
Yeah, <laughs> you're in the state of flow, as yeah, I like yeah. to say, right? Yeah, yeah. So wherever you go, it takes yeah, you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here at this event, you have everybody who's involved in the startup scene, yeah. you know, from the entrepreneurs that you've met, and so from the VCs to the, you know, all the investor space and all the incubator space. Have you considered any of the incubators that you maybe look to yeah. lean on for resources and stuff? Well, like 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 we said, like this is this is the first time for me even like like going in in this area. So um, we've met really interesting people and people who who say like okay let, let's have a meeting next week because they are all very interested, especially in the in the things what's coming up next as well. Um, so yeah, I think next week will be full with uh, meetings and and finding the right fit. I think for us for our brand, that's very important finding the right fit with the person who sees what Wheel of Art is because. You know, Wheel of Art is, is more than a product. It's it's the experience what really counts. And and I almost say like Wheel of Art is like a lifestyle. It's a, it's it's you need to kind of really breathe it. And um, yeah, we are looking for the for the right fit to to help us grow further. So uh, when meeting other entrepreneurs like yourself, you know, and there's quite a lot of them here, what are some of the tips that you found that have helped you or that you can share through your journey? Oh, that's a good one. Um, Oh, I'm sure there's more than one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you know? yeah, I mean, you know, for, for me, uh, the, the most important thing is uh, for, for, for entrepreneurs, um, follow, I think if there's a passion, right? People see passion. So people, uh, for me, the, the most interesting entrepreneurs is then you, you ask them what they do, they really lit up. You can see from the whole body language that they love what they're doing. And this is, I think, follow that passion. If you believe in yourself, even if you get a couple of no's, no problem. Go for it, um, uh, grab it, and um, yeah. And I, I'm sure that the world is your oyster if you really believe in it. If you believe in it, you you radiate it, and people will be attracted to you. And uh, that, that that's for me my most important message in in, in whatever space you're. I've, I've seen so many fantastic entrepreneurs uh, these last two days, and it's just inspiring. And the ones who really stick out are the ones who really, yeah, they, they have the passion for the product. And they have this authenticity, right? Authenticity. When they yeah, talk I think about that's it. it. I, it, it. Of course, money is important, but it's, it's, you need to feel it with your soul. And I think that's also what investors look for. Uh, I, I, I have done a couple of pitches before, uh, not in this, like, not like this, but uh, for, for INSEAD, uh, uh, the, the, uh, for INSEAD. And, um, and I think what really sticks out is, is you need to have that passion and, and, People, also investors, they go for the person behind the product. If they believe in it, if they believe in that person, uh, yeah, that's important. Amazing. So I have a big question for you. You know, <laughs> there's a big challenge between the artist, the creative type, and the business person. Yeah. And there's a constant pull. You know, like yeah. which one do you go after? And and how do you how do you really prioritize business if you're a creative person, or maybe you don't know? You know, because their passion yeah. could be there, yeah. right? So from your standpoint, where you, are you? A, you're an artist, right? And you have this yeah. creative part. Is it a struggle to try to keep putting business first? In that situation, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a really, really good question. Um, maybe it's in my advantage that I love business and I love talking about business and I love talking with startups. Also, I have so I have an art background, but my study I have a master's in intellectual property law. So it's a it's a very it's 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 a very different mindset than being an artist. So I probably have both where I do. I, I, I understand more the, the, the formal world of things and the business part of things and I understand the, the, the artistic side. So I have both and both are probably a big passion for me. It's, it's the, the excitement of running a business, business that you, you can't compare it with anything else. And I, I, yeah, for me that really makes, uh, makes my heart tick or I don't know what the, the saying is. But I, yeah, talking about business, being involved in business, seeing a business grow. I mean, I've done this now for nine years where I stand, stood uh, to the, uh, in 2013 to where I stand now. It's an incredible journey and I'm, I'm every day very thankful, especially for that big community, what's behind us and who's always supporting us. Like, it's, it's, it's the people, right? Like business for me is people as well. And of course it's a numbers game, but this is where I have my, my partner for, but like for me, it's the people side of things. And, and whether you do that with art or business, 
it's all the same pretty right. much. Right. So, it's yeah. like connecting with people and connecting you got people. art to connect us all. Yeah. So how many people are you connecting? Uh, when you say customers, what kind of numbers are you throwing around? So we have, I think, so far we have about 50,000 people who have like uniquely created an art piece uh, so far, which, which is only here in the region. I'm not counting all these 20 other countries where we've shipped to, but here in the region it's about 50,000 people and, uh, and, and they all have at least one of the paintings. And what we see a lot is that 66% of those, they are returning customers. So you, after you've created one painting, you feel addicted, you know, yeah, like you, you love it because you want to maybe create your own gallery and, and um, it's the feeling, what I said in the beginning, it's not only about being an artist, I mean quite many of these people have never touched a brush before, so it's not really about that, but it's about forgetting about time, forgetting about space, forgetting about work, kids, even though they're lovely, but forgetting about everything else and just have that three hour moment for yourself, I mean, this day and age. When do we actually get that? I, I never get that. So for me, if you can just have give that to people and the happiness, like when they enter, they, they usually giggle a little bit like, oh, I've never done this before. And I'm like, don't worry. Um, follow the process, relax, <laughs> get a nice drink. Yeah. And then three hours later, they go home and, and they're so happy, they're radiant. And I think this is that that happiness, what is almost addictive, and, and yeah, people keep coming back. And what's exactly that value, you know, proposition of your brand and yeah. what you bring into people's homes. Yeah. So I applaud you for that. I think you've done a great job. It's uh, nice to see you back you. after years, you know, from COVID <laughs> on down. You know, you're back. You've been here the whole time, and you're better than ever. I can't believe fifty thousand is quite a number to really, yeah. you know, walk around Thank and feel you. proud of yourself. But well done. And so, if for anybody who loves art, and even if you don't, you want to buy it for someone who needs to have exactly. a break from life and just like zen out and have some meditation and some creative outlet how do they get in touch with you so you can go to the website welovart.com or you can like uh, uh, contact us through instagram at welovart.experience amazing so, yeah, there you can find us amazing so thank you so much denise for the thank art you, experience Rachel. in the uae going global uh, good luck on your search for some capital and uh, we look forward to watching your journey thank you so much thank you thank you for you're having welcome me. you're welcome very much <laughs> bye okay bye-bye